In the pre-dawn hours, this house on Steiner Avenue sits quiet. Those inside have no idea dark secrets hidden behind closed doors are about to be exposed. A short distance away, agents with the Drug Enforcement Agency are gearing up and given instructions. The side doors are your entry points. It's go time. Or so today we're executing a search warrant at a residence on Steiner Avenue in Cincinnati that is associated with at least two fatal overdoses. Yes, residents right here with the light on the upstairs. Agents rush out of their cars, knock and announce their presence. Inside, they find seven people the DEA says live there, among filth and feces. I mean, there's needles all over the place, use needles everywhere. The DEA collects the needles, along with small amounts of heroin. Agents aren't necessarily after the people inside, but rather their knowledge. We hope to gain some cooperation regarding the overdose deaths. That One woman at the home agreed to speak to us if we didn't identify her. Um, I, I am a user. She broke down, talking about what her life has become. I'm homeless and I don't have anywhere to stay. I just don't have the means of, like, I don't have transportation. She says she's lost, living an even darker life after her 22-year-old daughter died due to drug use. She just went to sleep and never woke up. Her last breath taken inside this Adamsville home. This woman can't explain why she keeps returning here. I don't know, like, things just started getting out of whack. With her daughter's death is one of the two that brought this team here. It's very important to us uh, to continue to investigate the overdose deaths and kind of work it backwards to the dealer and, and then try to determine uh, who's actually bringing this stuff into our area. And into the lives of some of our communities most vulnerable. I think I, I've just been doing it just to kind of, you know, ease the pain. Of we're, we're all raising our kids here like everyone else, so it's important to us you know, to try to just keep knocking the stuff out of the community. Of the seven people in the house, just that one woman I talked to was arrested on a parole violation. Again, the mission was to get the suspected users inside to start talking so agents can target dealers and people higher up on the drug chain. Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.